This thing's gonna get wild here in the Central Valley. DJ Neto, Comacito, front row. Here we go, green flag. DJ Neto with the initial race lead. Trouble, Willie Croft into the splash pad, going into turn number one. And we're gonna go yellow on this opening attempt of 22, pardon me. Second attempt to get a lap in begins now. Again, Neto gets to the point, beating out Macedo. Tim Kading trying to stay in front ahead of Shane Golubic as Macedo down on the inside. Brilliant move, able to exploit the space, and Cole Macedo is going to lead the opening stands up. Cole Macedo leading, DJ Neto is second, Tim Kading third. Kading looking for an opening, he's going to get in the back end of Neto. That's going to cross Neto up a little bit. Dominic Gordon off-roading off of the second corner, and Shane Golubic trying to capitalize as the Williams Motorsports number zero will out of shape, Golubic is up to P3. Tim Kading putting pressure on DJ Neto. That is for second. As a possible battle for fifth developing between Bud Kading and the 29, Kading goes wide and sideways. 360 out of the 29, we go yellow. Kading keeps it, Bud Kading keeps it fired up and rolling in the right direction. We have 20 laps to go as we're a third of the way home. Green flag is out and they'll exit the Lifeline USA restart zone. This Hoosier Racing Tire A main event is back underway. The 88 in of DJ Neto under fire from Tim Kading. Kading in the Williams Motorsports number zero has obtained second. Oh no, Shane Golubic upside down. Tim Kading, we've got an additional flip. In turns three and four, Tim Kading hard in the front stretch wall as well. Tim Kading out of the race car, walking under his own power, and not sure what, where he's going, but it may be to the 88 in of DJ Neto. Neto had gotten into the inside berm, and Colby Copeland was the additional car that got upside down in turns three and four. Out of turn number four, Cole Macedo gets on the loud pedal and the Tarleton Motorsports number 21 stays at the point. Chase Johnson hitting some of the rough stuff going on the bottom of the back straightaway. He's going to cycle out from fourth to sixth, and Nick Parker is in the top five. Your race leader, Cole Macedo, has hit traffic. There is a lot of it that he's going to have to deal with. We're past the halfway mark by a number of laps, 19 laps complete and 11 to go. Cole Macedo will deal with the 83V of Dylan Bloomfield. And red flag is out, red flag waving. Dominic Gordon getting on his side in the fourth corner. Cole Macedo is gonna light it up and here we go. Macedo in the 21, escapes away from the 88 in of DJ Neto, already building, oh my, Neto, right rear, hooking something, and Justin Sanders is gonna pounce on the opportunity. Justin Sanders, your sprint car challenge to a 360 feature winner, and the Mitri Motorsports number two X is up to position number two, and under fire for fifth is Chase Johnson, is Nick Parker, trying to find a way underneath the red and white 24 Johnson. Here comes Sanders trying to work some magic on the top. Tanner Carrick sees the acreage of space. And here comes Sanders giving chase to Cole Macedo. Sanders trying to visit Victory Lane here at the Stockton Dirt Track with an ARC 410 Sprint Car Series for the first time since the tribute to Gary Patterson 2022 edition. He won the 360 main event that night all the way back then. Cole Macedo is out in front with the advantage. Has trouble on the front straightaway. Landon Brooks is going to get on his side, and we are going to go red late in this one. Just as things were starting to get spicy and good, red flag is out. Landon Brooks in the 45W on his side. Well, we are getting word from race officials that this race has come to a conclusion under red flag conditions. And so credited with the win, Cole Macedo in the Tarleton Motorsports number 21.